how I made my Joker mask part two. Now we can start painting. So I picked a translucent base, which means I had to do lots and lots of layers, but I left the area around the eyes dark because I knew I'd be painting the black later. Once I had enough coverage on my mask, I use a thin-tipped permanent marker brush to go over the details on the mask. I have easier control with a marker than an actual paintbrush, so this is the way to go for me. I didn't really have a good way to mirror image this, so I just kind of eyeballed it and then measured it. I think it came out pretty good. So at this step, you would normally be sealing it or going over it with the actual paint of your choice. I'm extra, so I decided I was going to make the black parts glittery. So I'm sealing mine with Mod Podge and then adding a black glitter to the mask detailing. So here's the mask once I added the glitter. And here's the completed product. Thanks to the clips, it stays in my hair and I can put it on and take it off without having to take off any wig. Thanks for watching. If you had any questions, please just let me know.